So people often ask me, you know, what was it like to, to know Jesse Glover or train with him? Um, to start off, I was very, very fortunate to meet Jesse because um, the majority of people that Bruce taught have all passed away. Uh, and I was lucky to meet quite a lot of these people. No every one, but, you know, quite a few. What was it like to train with Jesse was basically old school, so it's not a case of day if you name that's it. You know, you'd be doing thousands and thousands of reps or punches or whatever you wanted to do or kicks. And it was, it's a cat. It was a matter of just repeat, repeat, repeat. And that's the, that's really the case if you want to be good at some. It's just a day until your arms fall off, your legs fall off, and then be able to do it again and again and again. A lot of people say Jesse wasn't a good teacher. You know, uh, I think he was a good teacher. Um, but he's not a guy that would stand there and give you all the technical data and all the fancy names. He just spoke plain English. And I think when you meet teachers who just speak plain English, they're far better than a guy who's, you know, a Western guy who's trying to convince you he can speak Chinese or a Western guy who's trying to convince you about Japanese or Thai or any of these languages that describe a technique when it's just a kick or a punch or whatever. So Jesse was really a down-to-earth guy. His sticking was on a different level. When you see all the, when I, when I watch these people then she says, I'll go like, nah, you have no forward pressure, nothing like that. You know, once you add forward pressure, just get through that. It's not a case of getting up done for the sake of it. It should be a screw that's screw, screwing into the, the guy's defences. And if there's no counter pressure, you should be just going through. So the first time I actually ever uh, stuck with Jesse was he came and done a seminar at my school. He told me to come up to his hotel room when we were finished because I'd never done any sticking in the class. I was just more or less running about doing things and helping people and that, you know. Uh, went up to the hotel room. Uh, one of his students, Wolfgang, was a really good friend of mine as well. The two were moving all the furniture. And I'm thinking, what's wrong? Do you know like the way the decor is? But it was really just to give space, excuse me, to stick. And then Jesse started to show me how to stick. And he said, okay, try and touch me. Let me try to touch him. And he's just going like this, you know. Every time I moved, he was pulling me and pushing me off bounds. And I ended up I was going like that. And he would just hit me, come back, hit me, hit me. Pull, push, pull, push, pull, you know. But it was just doing another level. And I think he must have been maybe, I'm not sure his age when I met him, to tell you the truth. You know, uh, he wasn't young, but I can imagine what it would be like, you know, even when he was younger. Uh, because he actually did that line. He, he gave me a video clip of him training. And a friend of his was shooting it for a balcony in this, like, a housing complex. And you see Jesse clearing it and hitting it and punching it and chasing this guy, hitting the pad. And I think, my God, man, could he move fast? But even, even in his older years, Jesse could move fast. He didn't look like it. You see him, you were, you know, you know, it's a cat. It didn't look like it. But sometimes the thing you've always got to remember is sometimes looks can be deceiving. And sometimes some people that's maybe a bit older think, oh, they couldn't move as quick as that. But they get a shot when they move, you know. I'm getting ready to throw this at the cat here, aren't I? Um, so... I knew him for, I don't know, maybe 20 years or something like that. Rude about that. <clears throat> I couldn't give you an exact, an exact time on it. Uh, that's my cat. But he was a very good friend. There's no two ways about it. And he'd have done anything for me, but I'd have done anything for him. You know, and it's very, very rare you meet people like that. Very rare. Jesse doesn't get the recognition he deserves because of the amount of time he spent with Bruce and he was a first student. There's people that spent less time and who were hardly there with him, who got a lot more recognition. But he was a really dear friend, uh, and his sticking was excellent. Um, his approach to around combat was a lot more realistic than most people, and a lot more realistic than your JKD community, or even your Wing Chun community. Jesse could see through all the bullshit and just go, same as Bruce, go right to the heart of the problem and just clear that thing and hit it or just hit it, you know? Um, and he was a guy that said to me, he says, Tommy, Bruce was fencing with his hands and feet. Go and research it. That's where it lies. There's no many people can do it, but you'll be able to do it. And that's what I've done. 
and I've never looked back since then. So I'll really, really Jesse, you know, a hell of a lot, and I really can't thank him enough. Catch you later.